This is gonna be a demonstration of the sit on the dog exercise with Lilibet. She is a 10 month old lab and she has a ton of energy and does not know how to regulate her emotions very well. She just wants to be into everything. She wants to walk around and fuss. Here she is fussing with her leash. You can interrupt that, but ultimately you want to completely ignore your dog during this exercise. You want to give them just enough leash to be able to stand up comfortably. In fact, looking back at this video, I probably gave her a little bit more leash than was totally necessary, but this is the second time we've done this exercise and you'll see in real time that it takes her a little over 60 seconds to decide Eh, there's not a whole lot that I can get into right now. I'm just going to lay down. And that'll happen here in just a minute. And then I speed up the video and cut out a bunch. I think the whole thing was about 30 minutes long, which is a great amount of time to practice this. Again, I want to reiterate, we don't want to fuss with our dog during this exercise. You can do it literally anywhere. You can start by doing it in a situation like this where I'm in the office. There's not much going on in here. There is a dog, in, another dog in the room, but she's asleep. And so she's helping influence that calm, calm behavior. But you can also do it in the kitchen. You can do it at a coffee shop or a bar, I suppose, wherever it is that you like to take your dog. And here I am writing up an email to her owners about homework that I want them to practice over the weekend, including watch this video and practice this exercise. Sit on the dog is going to help your dog learn to regulate their own emotions. It's going to teach them to calm themselves. Emotional regulation could be hard, whether you're a person or a dog. So this is really good and uh, really kind of just takes away choices to get into trouble or to work themselves up into a higher frenzy. It's going to help encourage them to just chill out, relax let it be Whenever it's time to end the exercise, ideally you want to do it when your dog is calm. You don't want to do it when your dog is still pacing or trying to paw at you to get your attention. Um, you always, the learning is in the release, and so we want to release them when we have the behavior we want. So we've had a good 20 to 30 minutes of this, and so here in a second... Oh, might as well stretch myself. You don't have to say anything. You can just let her, let her up. And maybe take her outside to go to the bathroom. 